Welcome back to another episode of SnowRunner, not a Mike's Truck Simulator this time. We got these drilling parts we're going to take over to the factory. So we got to go down through here, let's map it out real fast. We are on the Alaska map, New the North Point, or North Port, sorry. I don't know how to speak one of these days. That, there we go. I'm just screwing everything up. Um, way to the factory. That's the factory. That is the factory there. There we go. Yeah. So we're going to be using the, um, what the hell's the name of the truck? Got it. AZOV the 64131. And we're going to be pulling a little trailer because we've got to take four of them. Now, this problem is I didn't know this until this now that um, you can't really turn with the trailer because it hits the bed of the truck. We're going to try it anyway. I remember how to start it up. There we go. Don't break off. Nope. Not that. There we go. Alright, we're good. Good old snow runner. I just couldn't wait any longer. I'm waiting for the new DLC, but I got tired of waiting for it. And it is night time. Everybody knows how I feel about night time in this game, right? Ain't having it. We'll wait until we get up through here and then we'll switch it. But yeah, let's just go ahead and switch it now. So we'll go back to the map. Push the T button to skip time. Ooh, six o'clock in the morning. At least we can actually see what's going on with the wheels and stuff. Hopefully the trailer hitting the bed's not going to be that big of a problem. But we'll find out I guess. As long as we don't roll it over right up here. Doesn't matter time or two. how they stuck those little rocks right there so if you hit them you'd flip over dirty bastards yeah. mistakes may have been made look as if a winch here We'll go up the hill. Come on, turn. Thank you. And how far will it reach? Go all the way up there. That'll work. Um, Y button to winch it. Okay. There it is, the big rock came out there. Perfect. Oh, we're not through yet, are we? Alright, let's go ahead and do another winch here. Try there. Like a pretty solid spot. Alright. Kind of 
tap the button as we're going through. Go ahead and hook that there. Too bad you couldn't release the winch. That'd be awful. I mean, let it out. You can release it, but I mean, like, let it out slowly. Go slow through here and see what happens. Don't get too carried away. We should be all right. Oh, yeah, we got it. flock all the time so he can't turn anyone more off which I'm fine with at least we have it starting up uh well not starting up but starting over with a new game in American Truck Simulator trying to play it the right way without cheating slowly building our way up and um making like a little series out of it Scene. To be honest, I've never really tried it. I always just used to money cheat you know, or cheat engine. Alright, I'm going this part right here. We want to stay all the way over here towards your right. All these trees will give us a winching point if we need it. Thickest piece here, been it. So thick the trailer tires aren't really turning, they're kind of sliding. So I want to see some mud flying. to fuel stop running along the way so we don't have to worry about burning too much fuel just as long as we can make it there. The one tire ain't turning on each other, it's just sliding. There it goes. Yep, that's the way you want to hit that hole. I ain't never tried to go through the other way.
What's the all the way to the left here and to the right, right up here. All the way to the right. Go right. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and let off and put it in low. Let it chew a little bit. As soon as I say that. The signs always take these damn signs out. Do I got chains on? I do. What's in these crates? Parts. Drilling parts. Maybe they're like drilling heads or something. What bunch of random shit they threw in a box? Might need one of these or one of those. Let's throw this donut in there just in case. You know what? I bet with the engine right there the way it is, that thing doesn't need a heater in the cab. I bet that cab stays pretty warm. Even with all the ventilation on the sides and everything. short for a video and I'm enjoying it so okay let's go back to global map again click on mountain river again that's where we're going to be coming out at this is where we gotta pick this shit up at that little arrow thing's gonna screw me up, so we better map it out. Because I'll end up going to it instead of. No, for it, no, White Valley. Mm. This awful road, rough road to be going through here. Wanna go through there, or do we wanna keep just go up and around? Go all the way to there. Okay, let's go through there. You only live once, right? I don't know if, I can, if we can get through there. What did I just say? I don't know if we can get through it. Oh, we're going through there now. We are definitely going through there now. That's probably why I'm broke. Been too much money on shit I don't ever need to use. Well, I used it at that point in time. 
they even did a little bit of made intros for some other other people. I don't really enjoy editing or making intros as much as I do editing the videos. I think editing is pretty cool. Kind of like painting. You start with something raw and shit and you gotta turn it into something nice. Alright, we need four barrels of oil. Oil, oil, oil. What? Why did it tell me to come here and get the oil? Did it not? Okay. I'm confused. Well, I'm delivery four barrels of oil. It's in fucking White Valley. Rivers in Prudhoe Bay. We're close to Prudhoe Bay. Nope. Oh. Little. White Valley. I could have swore it said you pick it and shit up here. You pick it uh, shit up. Showing out all of them. Back to the vlogging. We're gonna put up a new American Track Simulator video, but damn game cr crashing each time I'd enter a city. The game would crash. I gotta go through and try to figure out why the hell it's doing that. Is it a mod or is it just a bug? Figure it out. When you go that way, yep. I don't like the camera on the inside. This fucking thing just turns way too damn fast. That's better. Oh yeah, I like that better. Let's see which way to go. Seventy five be alright too. I don't know, it's not that bad though. I'm used to the American truck simulator one. Anyway, back to the American truck simulator. Um Yeah, so I kept crashing everything. I spent I don't know, four or five hours trying to get a load delivered different loads to different cities and finally I just had to help with it. Oh damn. Slid around that curve. Damn, it's bumpy. No! Oof! Damn. trucker I'm not really big on the little race things like at a time things bitch 
Blew out the ball and murder her. Hit the gutter. Hit the hit the gutter. Hit the gutter. With the bumper. Damn old pan fell off. Wait a minute, this truck doesn't have any beacons on it. Rise. I thought everybody everything had beacons. One, two, three, four, four. Yep. It was oil, right? Oil, oil, yeah, okay. I kind of wish the automatic shifting was a little bit better. Seems to downshift, upshift too much. It's like doom, 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 doom. Can't figure out how to make its mind up what gear it wants. Thing you know, the damn thing's downshifting and you're stopped. Pisses me right the fuck off. Good God, some of. Somebody farted and shit their pants. Little uh -huh. love tap. See that right there is what I meant by the stupid shifting. Basically stopped when it downshifted. up on the road. That's what it did in uh, mud runner or spin tires. To move the big rocks out of the way. Which you had to redo every time you loaded the game. Don't drive off that. Please don't drive off that. Thank you.